Yeah, good morning. Well, it's unclear how many of these workers could be temporarily uh, laid off, but according to the Seattle Times of the 12,000 workers, some of these could be transferred to other Boeing facilities. Now, the head of the FAA sent out a pretty strong uh, message on Sunday to Boeing and its CEO saying he will not recertify the MAX before the end of this year. Boeing released a statement saying we continue to work closely with the FAA and global regulators towards certification and the a safe return to service of the MAX. We will continue to assess production decisions based on the timing and conditions of return to service. King 5 aviation expert Glenn Farley says Boeing has resisted halting production to this point because of so many moving parts. We know this much that they are very worried about losing people. Um, I think there is some concern because the economy is doing what it's doing that if they were to lose some people, they would not necessarily be able to get them back easily. The Seattle Times reports Boeing will work to make the impact as minimal as possible for employees, maybe even transferring some to other plants. Now, the announcement is not official, but the Seattle Times reports that it could come as early as today or even tomorrow. I'm live here in Renton, Kiara L. Fallen, King 5 News. And Boeing stock down quite a bit in pre-trading, too. We'll have to watch that. Kiara, thank